thank you so much for being here. As you just saw, today we have a huge Shein haul. And I noticed that in my last haul with them that the quality really seemed to be going up. Things were even increasing in price a little bit and I had a generally good experience. So I decided I'd give it another shot. And when I went on the website, I usually go to each different category, tops, dresses, bottoms, and I scour every single category to find things I like. However, this time I took a different approach. I was on the main screen for plus and curve and I'll kind of put it here. And there was like a little banner for their spring summer collection. So I clicked on that and OMG guys, <laughs> everything was so cute. I feel like I was just adding to my bag like left and right. I was like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's an outfit. Like I was even buying outfits that the models were wearing because they were just selling it. Today's haul is a little bit different, very cohesive, and it's all from that spring summer collection. All of these things I got from the curve slash plus section, I never even look <laughs> at the other sections, but I know some things come in both. So if you're not plus size, I think some of these things you still can get in your size as well. I generally get Shein things in a 4X, so I just get the largest size. <laughs> I do reference the size chart in the reviews just to see what the people are saying and if they're saying, you know, this runs really small or the fabric was not great, but everything was having really great reviews. So I'm not super sure how that works. And then because this is a newer collection, some things just didn't have any reviews. So kind of went in <laughs> blind on some of these. So we will get to see together what hits and misses are. And I did want you guys to know that I linked absolutely everything down below in the description box. And I did want to let you guys know that those are affiliate links now. Yes. And if you use any of those links, I get a small small percentage if you end up purchasing using one of those links. So that just helps me out and it gets me one step closer to making this a full-time thing for myself. So just wanted to put that out there and give that little disclaimer if you are here to shop the looks that I'm showing you today. So without further ado, let's hop in. All right guys, so these first items are actually a set. I will pan down so you can see the full thing. I'm in love. As you can see, it's the super adorable white set and it comes with this tiny little crop top and this little layered skirt. Close, so you can see the details. There's some embroidery anglais, some elastic at the edges around the waist and at the top hemline here. So it gives this kind of nice, almost like ruched bubble look over here. It's a little wrinkly. I think if you were to steam it, that would help a lot to alleviate some of this weird lines going on here. One thing I will say is it's a little bit see-through. It is an all white set so that's not like so unheard of i am wearing nude underwear and bras so it's not really that much of a problem but if you weren't wearing nude you might have some issues let's talk about this skirt because i think this is so perfect the way that they cut this i think makes so much sense for a plus size body let me tell you why this panel up here is very tight to the body not like so tight but it's more fitted to the body has the elastic waist so i was able to pull it right over my hips no problems and then <laughs> this first tier is perfect and hits right where my hips would generally go out, right where my belly line is. So it just does a beautiful job of kind of laying over any area, not that I would want to hide, but that I wouldn't want to highlight. So that's this skirt. It is a little bit short. It comes like right to the fingertips, but if you turn around, you can kind of see things get shorter in the back. So definitely not something you could be <laughs> bending over and things like that. You have to do the, you know, you know this pickup, we all know. But I think this is overall such a cute set. And even though the crop top is very, very short because the skirt comes up so high, I feel like it works. And maybe this is meant to be pulled down just a little bit, but I really like how it's hitting just like this. So this is the set, so cute. It'll be linked down below. I have, I'll leave all the prices and stuff like that down below because I'm really bad at remembering to mention it for every single one. But as you guys know, Shein is super affordable. So it's not something that's gonna break the bank. And the quality wise, it does feel very good. Like I wouldn't say that it's like amazing high end quality, but this feels on par to something I would get at maybe like H&M or something like that. It's not terrible. All right guys, so I think I'll be showing you a lot of the full body outfits and sets first because they're just so easy to put together. But this is actually a jumpsuit and unfortunately it's just not doing the greatest things for me. So let's talk about it. <laughs> this jumpsuit is this beautiful, purple like periwinkle color it was very easy to get into because it buttons down and then there's even a zip to get into it here and as you can see the top is very oversized i got this in a 4x which is the largest size so i can't size up but the bottom is just a little bit more fitted down here and the fabric is a little different it's not as billowy as it is up at the top so it's definitely hugging me here and i am 5'8 so i think i'm a little bit too tall for this item so it's just like really pulling right up through here and I think someone with just a different body shape, a little slimmer in the hips, smaller tummy, this would work beautifully because obviously there's a lot of room up here at the top. And then even the length is kind of ankle skimming on me. And I think on the model, it was 
full length. So I think I'm just too tall and too hippie for this, unfortunately, but I love the color. I felt like this would be so cute with some like white go-go boots or something like that, like really leaning into the like 60s, 70s style that it's serving right now. Probably more 70s, but this color, are you kidding? But unfortunately it just didn't work out for me. So this one will definitely be going back, but we have tons more. Okay, so I think that maybe I'm just a little too tall for the rompers and jumpsuits at Shein. Like I said, I'm 5'8", and this little romper, like a short romper, you can see, I'll pan down so you can really see down there, but it is too short for my torso. This one I don't think is too like slim in the legs. I feel pretty comfortable there, but it is just majorly riding up. And the way you get into it is just this little zipper down the front and then it has this little tie at the waist just to like give you some definition, which I think is so cute. And then we have these cuff sleeves. And again, I got this in a 4X and I don't think it's like a size thing in like width or anything like that. It's just purely length. So I think it's just meant for someone who's a little bit shorter than I am, unfortunately. And that's not really something that you can tailor to fix because you can't add a lot of length that there's no inches in like the seams or anything like that. So let me show you. As you can see, it's just, really really right up there it, sh it shouldn't be this tight down the seam but i thought this was so cute it's this like watercolor tie-dye jumpsuit and it's definitely like a stiffer material it's nice and structured this feels like a very high quality romper and if it fit this would have been such a fun item for summer and like i said i can zip it up i can get it on my body but this is just not comfortable <laughs> if you can literally see it's just pulling right through my crotch area so it's just not a good fit but the style so cute the colors amazing the quality breathtaking the wedgie impeccable guys i really seem to be striking out here we we got some busted biscuits it was so close but um it's right at my waist that i just i probably could close it if i really really tried but i would feel super sucked in but this is another dress it is a 4x and as you can see there's a lot going on with it so it has these accordion details it's a tiered skirt which i love honestly if it was just the skirt portion i would totally be in it but at the top you see these other accordion ruffles running up and then this asymmetrical little neckline so and that also has a ruffle on it and then it's this floral pattern so there's just a lot not to mention the puff sleeve there is like a something in here that is making it stand up like a little pad that's giving it this shape intentionally so you do have the puff sleeve and it kind of billows out so it's giving me 80s vibes there and then you know the three-quarter sleeve so a lot going on as i turn those ruffles go all the way down the back and it's still more shimmy shaken but i just can't get the side zip to close all the way unfortunately so i won't be able to keep this or anything but even despite that, I think there's just something about it that I'm not loving. I don't know if it's just too much going on or the pattern. It's just not great now that I have it here on my body. I did get in a 4X and I don't know if even there's no 5X, but even if I did have the option to go up a size, I don't think that would matter because I think there is already so much room in my shoulders, in my arms, that it would look really funky on top just to fit my waist. So. This one's just not for me. What do you guys think? Do you think this is like a cute Sunday brunch dress or like something you can go out in? Or is this just like not the vibe? You let me know. Okay, so we are serving some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean realness in this top. So these were obviously sold separately. These are not a set, but actually this outfit was being worn by the model and I was like, copy paste because look at this so this top is kind of like a linen-y fabric it does if it was steamed this would lay a lot better but anyway it has elastic for the whole top there's no tag front and front or back so like you could wear this either way i believe and then <laughs> these awesome sleeves so it's kind of a bubble effect like there's elastic going down so that it gives this like puffy sleeve effect to going in sections and then ends in this cool kind of bell sleeve at your wrist that really makes me feel power that's all that's all i feel so i got this top in a 4x love it i love that it's like a cream like off-white shade i have a lot of white puff sleeve tops but nothing in this shade so i really like that i might keep it and this skirt we are stepping out of our comfort zone okay this thing is impossibly thin like the thinnest skirt i've ever put on my body it is in a 4x there's there's not really this much that I got, some leg, some leg room. But it's not uncomfortable, it's like, it feels very comfortable, but 
very thin. I do love the pattern. I thought that that's like the whole reason I bought it. And I thought it was gonna be more like a woven. Honestly, I didn't look at the fabric for this one, so that's my bad. But it's just this very thin kind of polyester, like printed polyester. It has the stripes down the side. The only other thing is that this is impossibly short. So my bum is right here. And as you can see, I have like less than two inches back there. The front is a little bit better, but the back is very, very short. I just wouldn't be comfortable going out anywhere in this skirt, but I think it's such a cute look and very, very much a step outside of my comfort zone. So that's why I decided to give it a try. What do you guys think of this like ensemble? Would you wear this? Would you go out in public in this? Do you think this top is too costumey? Cause like I would wear this and I love this top, but I definitely could see where someone would be like, are you going to like a Renaissance fair? Which this could be a great piece for that Renaissance fair, okay? Love the essence. I just don't know if I would, wear this out. All right, you guys, let's just focus on one piece at a time, shall we? So this top is so cute. However, I had to get it in a 3X because they didn't have 4X, it was sold out already, but I loved it so much, but we can tell she's tight, she's fitted. So the back here has a zipper and it was a struggle, okay? My fiance literally like <laughs> zipped me in. And then <laughs> this is the top, it's very short. I think it would be a little bit longer if it was my correct size. It has broidery anglais and these little lace trim details here. A puff sleeve. Are you kidding me? I love how big it is. I love the color. It's nice and like peachy, like peachy, neutral, warm. Love this. And then, so these are the bottoms that I originally got to go with. And a little pan. I'll show you the situation. I got them on my body. So like, you know, but let me show you. Now, these are the pants. And honestly, from the front, they look pretty good. These are a nice, like, thick material. They're kind of like the romper that I showed you earlier, that same kind of canvasy material, and then they are like a light tan tie-dye situation. I think they're very cute. They have this little tie waist, and then it's supposed to be kind of a paper bag, but I'm definitely stretching it to the max. These are 4X. Guys, I'm gonna turn. We all have rolls, right? And this outfit is just really protruding mine, okay? So, <laughs> the top is squeezing me from the top. For some reason, I don't know if you can see this, the back is just low. It's just lower than the front and it's just not, it's gonna be a pancake butt. It's not going up high enough. Not the move. I stand just so. And then this is like the overall length. It's a full ankle length and it, they also have these little snaps on the ankles that help to tighten it. So you can have like a wider ankle or a looser one. I'm so uncomfortable. 3X, 4X, neither one is going to work today. Okay, so this next item is this top. I also got in a 4X and you guys let me know. I just think that this one is a little wonky. It's like a banded top. It has these elastic layers, which is really cool, but each layer has a tie. And I feel like that's where it, they really kind of made it look more messy rather than like a cute detail because they're just all hanging down the middle of each other. They're the same color. So it's kind of blending into the shirt. And I think it just looks really messy down here in the middle. So not loving that. It has these little straps. I kind of like that they go thinner to wider. I think that's a cute detail. This is the back and I kind of wish that it just looked like, I wish it just looked like that. Just like the tears and then the peplum. I think that would have been so cute. I just, something's off about it. I love the color, it's sage, perfect for summer, but just not feeling it, you know? And then I was planning to show you this top with these shorts, but unfortunately these shorts did not work out for me. So these are a white kind of fitted short and I should have known that these wouldn't work out for me just because Things like this hardly ever do. There's no elastic in them. They're very structured. You really have to get exactly your size. And I did consult the sizing chart, but the, even if my waist and my overall hip measurement, you know, there's still a lot of different measurements that go into making a garment fit perfectly when it's structured. So these are the shorts. They're beautiful white kind of structured shorts. They have this broidery scalloped edge. And then even the top has this little looping detail. I don't know what this is called. But I think that's so cute. Have nice, pleats down the front. They even have pockets and then a zip closure back that looks very nice and clean. These look like such a cute short, but I can get them on. I just can't zip them and the, the zip goes so far down. It's just not, not very pleasant on. So 
These are shorts that did not fit. I got them in a 4X, but they are unfortunately just not for me. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm hitting a wall here with these try-ons, but we're almost done, so we're gonna power through. This next top is very cute. I like it. There's some details that I didn't notice it had like on the website. So it's this beautiful white top. It has some more embroidery detail, which is really nice. These buttons are just kind of like plasticky and nothing kind of crazy. And then it has this lattice detail where you can see your skin right below the bust. And then it's tiered. So it has two tiers. The first one is kind of like angled, like pointing downwards, which I thought was interesting. And then the second one is just a regular. <laughs> the shorts below do not fit. We'll talk about them. And then the top, it has a little ruffle frill at the neckline and then this little tassels. You could tie this, but I feel like it's a little much. I'm just like leaving it open. And then at the sleeves it has this elastic at the wrist and then it kind of layers out. So I think it's a really cute top. You can wear this with a lot of different things because it's white. I got it in a four act. However, there's absolutely no stretch. So you really have to make sure that the size measurements are going to fit your body because she's a little stiff. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing crazy movement in this. And then I'll show you the back. This is what it looks like in the back. Because it is embroidery, there it's basically see-through. And then the second tier only goes to the side. So that's another little interesting detail. I don't know if I'll keep this one just because I feel like there's a couple other blouses in here that I like better, but it is an option if you like this one more, if you're more into the details, shmi tails. This one has a lot of them. Now, as far as the shorts, as you can see, same old problem. I can get them closed if I wanted to. <laughs> It's painful, it's not fun. These are a little floral short. Again, they're more of a structured short. These ones have no pockets or anything. Actually, is it floral? They're big kind of blobbed flowers. This is them from the back, pretty short, obviously, because they're like riding up. They're just not, not going to fit me. It's always over the tummy for me. Like, I understand my waistline is large, but me and she and pants still, still don't really work out. As you guys can see, that issue with probably all of the pants here and a couple of the tops so I'm not super excited but I don't think this is a quality issue like it used to be because these do feel nice and high quality they have a zipper there's a hook and eye like a metal clasp here so they feel good they're just not fitting my body and I did go based off the sizing chart so I don't think that it's like my measurements, I don't know. This top is a 4X, but it's super, super stretchy. This is that kind of like stretchy elastic. And honestly, it feels really good. It's not itchy on the inside, which a lot of kind of lace things that are a little bit cheaper can be. It feels very soft. It has this cute little folded, folds like inside, this folded mock neck that I think is very nice. It gives us this like high rise vibe. And then it's see-through, but not like super see-through because I'm just wearing my nude bra. While you can see it, I don't think it looks super crazy or anything like that. If you're worried about it, you could wear like a bandeau, a bandeau. You can wear a bandeau or like a tank top underneath, but I would honestly probably wear it like this. This is what the length is like. I don't, wouldn't wear a top like this untucked, so it just makes sense for me to tuck it. This would be really cute with jeans and like a blazer over for like a little juxtaposition. You can wear it more feminine like I am with like a skirt. This is my like personal skirt so from Shan needed a bottom because of the last couple but yeah I really like this and I think I'll keep it because I have a black one that's very similar but I didn't know I needed a white and now that I have it on I'm like wow you needed a white okay so this is the last item the outfit underneath is not part of it I just threw something on so that I can show you this jacket I think it's so fun okay the sleeves are quite ridiculous like that's a bit of puff okay and then it has this lace collar so fun and it's this sheer white kind of mesh a little bit more lace detail right there. And then it's literally a zip up. <clears throat> this is my idea of like a sweater. You can like wear it just like this. I probably wouldn't zip it up to be honest. Maybe I would, I'm not sure. I just think it's really cute. And then the hemline is like soft. Like this feels like a soft sweater and you can see more of this lace detail on the arms here. Why do I love it so much? I don't know. I think it's so cute. I got it in a 4X too, like, so cute. It's not tight on my arms or anything, obviously probably because of the puff sleeve, but I just think it's cute. I think it lends to an outfit. Maybe not this outfit, but again, wearing it with jeans to dress up these jeans that I now have to wear. All right, so I feel like we just went through it, you know, it's a lot of different stages for this whole excitement. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. That first matching set beautiful but honestly I feel like other than that I was kind of just a little bit disappointed the items and the quality and the style was really great I think the fit on the bottom for me is 
not working out. And you know, it's a personal thing. I have a large bottom half. At the beginning, I felt like there was a lot of thought into some of the pieces. Even throughout, there was quite a few pieces where I'm like, wow, this seems very well put together and very well thought through. But others that I just didn't think about, the shorts in particular and the pants, just I didn't feel that they had a lot of thought going to them around a plus size body because just from like the placement of the zippers, how low the zippers were, how short the crotches were in some of these, if you have a stomach, if you have some extra body, like there's certain things aren't going to work out. And so it is frustrating when it's the largest size, I can't go up the size and even I did, it would start to be ill-sitting in other areas. So some things just didn't work out, but there was definitely a few winners. I don't know why I love that zip up so much. So cute and like different. You guys tell me what you think. What items do you think are winners? Is there anything that you're going to order? Like I said, all the links will be down below for you guys to check out. And yeah, I feel like this one was kind of hit or miss. I'm not like disappointed. I'm just a little like, ah. I really liked these items. I don't know if you guys can tell, like this was very much my style and me like really going hard into like, feminine, whimsical, like eclectic kind of style. So I really enjoyed the items. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next week's video is going to be a Forever 21 haul. So look out for that. I'm very excited. I haven't shopped there in a very long time. So we will see how it goes. Please subscribe and turn the notifications on down below. It really helps my channel out. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.